Would you like to see a sphere of influence marketing system that is the easiest to use, the least expensive thing I've ever seen, and the most effective? If it sounds too good to be true, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this video. Inside, I'm gonna show you the nuts and bolts and the mechanics of how to do this, where you're gonna be getting at least a 20 times return on what you're spending to market to your sphere of influence. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are brand new to our channel, we appreciate you being here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if you want more tips and more strategies of how to do that, especially using social media, this is the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Now, before we get going, just down in the description below, I'm going to put a link to our master class. It is a free two-hour class that you can watch and learn how to market your business. You'll see the strategies and the techniques that we're using in today's market to generate more, uh, more leads for our clients, turn those leads into appointments, and how they're closing transactions from that. So we're gonna show you our best practices. If you wanna go check that out, go check that out in the description below. You'll see the link for that. Now, today's video, what we're gonna talk about is sphere of influence marketing. So one of the things that um, I think is a huge disconnect in the real estate industry is the majority of agents that I talk to tell me that the bulk of their business every year comes from their sphere of influence. And yet the irony is, is most of the agents that I talk to, when I ask them what they're doing to market to those people, <laughs> three out of four times, the agent says, Kevin, I'm not doing anything to market to those people. So if you know that that's where the bulk of your business comes from and you're not doing anything, that right there is a huge, huge, huge mistake, right? You've got to make sure that you're capitalizing on those relationships if you know that's where the majority of your business is going to come from, right? That's just a huge missed opportunity. It's a big hole in your business. And frankly, it's one of the things that's keeping you from growing at the rate that you want to grow. See, when you have a solid sphere of influence business, not only are those people going to continue to do business with you, but you're going to be getting referrals from that group of people as well. So with that being said, let's just talk a little bit about some, some numbers, right? So let's say you have a database of a thousand people, past clients and sphere of influence, just people that you know, your relationships, right? So if you have a thousand people that you know, then we wanna make sure that you're marketing to them. So let's consider some of the alternatives. Uh, some of the things that I hear people do, number one is they'll say, well, Kevin, I send them a newsletter every single month. Sometimes they send it digitally, sometimes they print it out and send it. But here's the thing, right? Most agents that I know, they're not spending the time to create the content for that newsletter. So they're hiring someone to do that. So at the very least, you're paying a company to create that content. And then if you're sending it out via email, typically what you're gonna find is really low open rates. Email open rates on a good list, meaning those people know who you are and they open your stuff. Typically it's about 15 to 20% is all. So very few people are going to actually see it. That's your first problem. Second problem is obviously the cost. I know people who spend thousands of dollars every single year on doing this. Now, again, don't get me wrong. It's better than nothing, but it's just really tough, right? So it's tough because of the expense that you're going through to do it. The second option that I hear people use all the time with their sphere of influence is they'll say, well, Kevin, I, I have them set up on this recipe card system. So every month or every other week or whatever the frequency is, they're getting a, a postcard with a recipe on it. Again, don't get me wrong, better than nothing, at least you're staying in contact with them. But my, my objections are number one, if you're sending direct mail every month or every other week, whatever that frequency is, you know, it, it's gonna add up. Even at 50 cents a piece, which that's pretty cheap when you consider printing and postage, you know, for a thousand people, that's gonna cost you 500 bucks every time you do one of those. So even if you're doing it monthly, $500 times 12 months, you're gonna spend $6,000 on recipe cards. That's the math of how that works out, assuming that's what the numbers are. So that's one of the huge problems. The other problem I have with recipe cards is, <laughs> do you really want people to think of you 
as the recipe real estate agent, <laughs> right? From a branding standpoint and an image standpoint, that's probably not the perception that you want people to have of you. So if you don't want them to think that, then my response is you shouldn't market to them that way, right? Um, I know some people that say, well, Kevin, I, I'm just going to pick up the phone and I, I call them several times a year. I call my sphere of influence. Okay, great. So that does work. And yes, it's less expensive. However, it takes a lot of your time. And the problem that I have with that method is the majority of agents that I talk to, either number one, they don't have the time to do that, or number two, they just don't make it a priority and so it never gets done. And so if that's what's going to happen, you're planning on making calls, I, I, that may work for a little while, but long term, it's probably going to fall through the cracks because that's what I see with the majority of, of agents that I work with. So how do we create a system that's going to generate results and do all the things that I said? It's not going to take a ton of time. It's going to be super inexpensive and it's going to be very effective as far as them seeing you over and over again and getting that image in their mind that you are the professional real estate, uh, professional real estate agent. So this is where Facebook comes into play. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here for a little bit. And what you're seeing is this is one of my clients ad accounts and one of the things that uh, we do really consistently with her is we market to her her database her sphere of influence now if you're unfamiliar with the way facebook works so there's this column right here labeled impressions and what impressions means is it's the total number of times the ad has been shown so it doesn't always work this way but for the most part what you're going to find is that on average, it costs about one cent per impression. Okay, one cent per impression. And you'll notice as we go through this, there's fluctuations. But what that means is, so like here, where she spent $22 on this ad, right, $22.33, at one cent per impression, that means her ad would be shown 2,233 times. So when we come over here to impressions, you'll notice it's actually been shown a little bit more than that. See, this should be 2,235, again, a little bit more, and, and so on and so on, you see this. So like I said, on average, it's about one cent every time the ad is shown. So when we're talking about multiple people, about, uh, about your sphere of influence, your contacts, seeing your ads multiple times, we're talking about impressions, right? So you'll notice that she is not spending a ton of money, but she's getting a lot of people and a lot of impressions seeing her ads. So what kind of things do we send out to people? Well, let me show you a couple of examples. One of my favorite things to send out to this audience of people is your business activity, just listed, just sold, under contract. Right? If people can see those kinds of things, the just listed, the just sold, under contract, people get it, the, this thought into their mind that you're the person to work with, right? Man, we're seeing all this business. People like to work with successful people. And so when they see your success, this just continues to solidify in your mind that you are the real estate agent that dominates this area, that um, people enjoy working with you, and you're always busy, right? People like to work with that kind of real estate professional. So business activity is some of my favorite types of content to send out to this group of people. Another one uh, would be informational videos. This particular one here is a market update video, just talking about what's going on market-wise. But frankly, one of the things I would tell you about video is think about any of the questions that people ask you. Any of those topics would be great content for a video. But what I love about video is people get to see your face and hear your voice and know what you're all about, right? That kind of, of FaceTime with people is irreplaceable. See, it's a huge form of leverage because instead of you having to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with all of your sphere of influence about what's going on in the market, you can handle that with one video. It's a huge leverage of your time. And then we just spend a few bucks, send that to add out to the people that you want, and uh, it's really, really powerful. So if you're looking and struggling for ideas for a video, I'm gonna put a link right up here that will take you to another video that'll show you some of my favorite and top video ideas for marketing purposes. So with that being said, let's just kind of run through, um, let's just kind of run through some, some numbers here. So let's say that you have a sphere of influence of a thousand people. 
Now, the way that we do this with Facebook is you can take your list of people, you can upload that list to Facebook, and you can run ads directly to that list. So you can put together a list of all your sphere of influence, your past clients, whoever you want to include. We can upload that list to Facebook and run ads directly to that list. If you don't know how to upload your list, again, I'm gonna put a link right up here. You can go watch a video a tutorial on how to do that. That's not the, the focus of this. In this video, I just wanna show you the opportunity and in my opinion, why you're absolutely crazy if you're not taking advantage of this. So if you have a database of say a thousand people, when you upload that list to Facebook, Facebook isn't going to find a match for every single one of them. Um, so on average, let's, it's typically around 60, 70%, just depending on the quality of, of information that you're uploading to Facebook. But let's just be crazy and say we match at 60%. So at 60%, right, 0.6, you're, you now have matches for 600 people. So in essence, 600 people is the, the list, the audience that you would be marketing to with this system. Okay, now, of that 600 people, let's say, so where it's costing one cent per impression, let's say we want them to see your post two times. Well, that would be two cents per impression, right? So that means on average, it's going to cost you $12 for all of those people to see your ad twice <laughs> anytime you run an ad. Isn't that insanely cheap? $12 for 600 people to see your ad two times. Crazy, right? So if we did that, if that was our entire marketing system for an entire year, that means for those 600 people, you would spend over the course of a year, $624. This is why I tell people, you're crazy if you're not marketing to your contacts on Facebook. This is your warmest audience. These are the people most likely to do business with you. These are the people most likely to refer you. And if you're not staying in front of those people and dominating that mental space for real estate that they have in their head, you want them to think of you when it comes to real estate. And that only happens with repetition, right? So if you're not utilizing that, then like I said, you're, in my opinion, you're crazy. You're making this way harder on you than it needs to be. Because even one measly transaction, I don't care what your sales price is in your local area, one transaction is easily gonna be 10 to probably 20 times this amount that you're spending in most areas of the country, right? So this is why it's absolute crazy. The statistic that I see over and over again is on average people move once every 13 years. It, the number tends to fluctuate, but who cares? Let's just take 13, right? So if we've got a database of 600 people and one 13th of them are going to be moving in the next 12 months, that means realistically you have 46 transactions sitting in your database, right? 46. For most agents, 46 transactions is a fantastic year. And this is why I, I, I'm hopefully <laughs> beating you over the head saying, why aren't you marketing to this group of people, right? You're crazy not to, and it's so inexpensive to do it. The other thing that I love about this system, like I've shown you, you're not limited to postcards, right? You can send actual videos. You can't send a video of yourself direct mail to people, especially for the kind of cost that you can with digital advertising, right? It's just not even close. So when you factor all of these things together, the cost, the amount of time it's gonna take you, by the time you upload a list, this is only gonna take you however long it takes you to put together a post like this which is probably gonna be, I don't know, let's be crazy and call it a half hour, right? Let's say you spend a half hour putting something like this together. Well, for a half hour of your time, you've now been in front of your entire database. That's why it's absolute craziness when people aren't taking advantage of the power that social media has to market your business. So this is how we end up putting together a fantastic, really just a drip system to stay in front of your past clients, your sphere of influence, and you're going to be getting at least a 10 to 20 times return on anything that you're spending. Again, even <laughs> just being crazy, even one transaction is probably 10 to 20 times anything that you're spending with Facebook to market to those people. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, sphere of influence marketing, past client marketing, marketing to your relationships. This is by far the least expensive 
time leveraged, most effective thing I've ever seen. And so these are the kinds of things that, uh, that we help our clients achieve. So with that, hopefully that, value, that video was helpful. If so, click that thumbs up button down below. Give us a like. That split second helps us tremendously. So if we've helped you, please help us in return. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing. You'll get more tips, more tricks, more strategies just like this as we continue to produce new content every single week. Also, I'm gonna put up a couple more videos right here just so you can learn some more tips, some more strategies, and more techniques to grow your business. With that, we are done. Make sure you check out our masterclass below. You'll, you'll uh, definitely wanna check that out and it'll be well worth your time. Uh, if we can help you in any way, we'd love to help you grow your business. Otherwise, make it a great week, keep crushing it, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Take care.